Well, we've made it to our uh, destination, and if there's the uh, destruction from last night. And this is in Mead Olin Park. And somewhere down here is a beehive. At least I think I was given or sent pictures. So hopefully I'm in the right location. Whew. This is a big tree. Holy smokes. Look at how big this, this root ball is. This thing is taller than me. Oh, yeah, there's some bees. Oh, goodness, it's muddy. I wonder what that was. That is the bottom of a tree, the root ball. But yeah, there's definitely some bees over here. Just, ooh, yeah, they got well, we might find a queen in there. Let me zoom in a little bit. And they're not paying me any mind at the moment, which is good. So let me go get my gear. And we'll get set up. So this is what they look like up close. And what I've just realized, that they've got an entrance about three feet further up. Which tells me I may need to cut into this tree. It's not going to be fun. So... We're gonna start down here. <clears throat> Actually, let's see if we can back up. All right. Got honey over here laying on the ground. Yeah, I saw that. Big chunk of honey. Do you keep that? Uh you you can. I I won't. Um you can what you can really I mean you can squeeze the honey out of that. And let let them consume it and uh, restore it. Um, but really, in a case like that, I would melt the wax down and use it to coat other frames. Or I mean, you can use it for candles. A lot of different things you can use wax for. Got a little bit of a mess. Crazy how wild it was last night, and now it's all beautiful. <laughs> Sunny out.
Stick them off there. Squeeze one. Mm. Yeah, chill out. Make sure they don't get up on my ankles. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Make sure I have your pants. All this stuff is like the honey stores. I got a feeling I might cut into this sucker. Mm. So, I had to go get a, my chainsaw real quick because pulling out comb from the bottom isn't going to get me anywhere because they're really far up this tree from the looks of it so i'm gonna cut it open hopefully they don't get too crazy on me and we'll get back here shortly oh this turned out to be a bigger job than i thought so i've cut out a portion of this tree i believe it's cherry it's pretty soft but as you can see i'm not even where they're at and this is what I've cut out. So, I will have more cutting to do. All right, so we're back again. I've really had to cut this tree 
wide open to get to where Let's see if we can focus here. There we go. This is where they were exposed down here. And it's a good three feet into this tree where the brood is at. And there's some solid brood in there. So hopefully I can find the queen. If not, I can hopefully find some eggs and reestablish this, this uh, colony. Some people would cut this entire piece, haul it home. I don't have the ability to do that, so that's why I'm taking it apart. So. Right now, I'm, I'm searching, looking for the queen. Oh. Trying to do too much at once, obviously. This comb has got brood and honey on it. So we're gonna try to salvage it. Don't have enough hands here. Thing is packed with honey and pollen. It's crazy. It would be really nice if I could find this queen. Too many bees in this thing. give y'all a closer look and then I'm gonna pause the video so I don't lose complete battery but just so you all can see what I've got going on I think this is a cherry tree
But down here, uh, find my finger. There we go. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's it's huge. That's that's part of it. Yeah. And this tree was uprooted. Yeah, that sucker is a monster. That was uprooted, and then the, that one that one wasn't blown down, and neither was this one. So this turned out to be a much larger project than anticipated. These are everywhere. Did find the queen. But the bees are moving to my box, so never plus. Getting there. <laughs> That's a lot of bees. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't even know they were there. Oh, you never knew. You never do until the a tree gets knocked over. How long you say they've been there for? What's that? How long you say they've been there for? Uh, man, they can live in trees like this for years. Oh, you too. So what I've done basically is put any viable brood in that box right there, taking all that I could find, any brood that is out of this tree trunk over here let me show you what I got so, so let me get a position where y'all can see uh, that's a good five feet and I don't even think I've gone all the way in as far as they are inside this tree which is why I didn't find the uh, well it's possibly she's further up in the uh, tree um, this is the part that I cut out and the discoloration in, that you see is actually propolis. Uh, trying to smoke them out, getting them, in, get them in the air. Uh, a good portion of them are flying to this box and going in here. So that's a plus. Didn't anticipate to be, anticipate doing this today got honey all over me my phone so fun stuff though I'm finally wrapped up uh, took a whole lot longer than I expected um, as you can see in the video that hive was probably five feet into that tree from its entrance down to where it was first visible when it fell over. Uh, couldn't find the queen, unfortunately. Um, but I did find some brood, some larva, and uh, eggs. So hopefully, if the queen isn't in the box with the rest of the bees that are in there, they can make a new queen. Um, it's always good to have feral bees in the yard with you know their genetics. Um, but that was my first and biggest tree cut out, which was fun. Fortunately, that tree, uh, I was told, is a cherry tree, and it was soft. So the, the saw cut through it fairly easily. Uh, but, yeah, it, it took a bit longer than I expected, being that, you know, you want, I was trying to take my time so I didn't crush any more bees that, that were, than were already dead from the uh, follow the tree because there were some 
there was some comb that was flattened that uh, was more than likely due to the fall of the tree. But uh, I left, uh, I used a swarm box because it's got more space in it. I left it, I left the box out there so the bees could acclimate to that box and the rest of the bees that were still lingering in the air or on the tree could uh, Oh, what's the word? Uh, reorient <laughs> to the box. So, one thing I learned though, always bring a bucket of water. Cause I've got honey on my keys, got honey on my clothes. Every tool that I possibly grabbed has honey on it, even my chainsaw. So, it's a lot of cleaning to do. But it was fun overall. Uh, I'll post some pictures thanks to uh, uh, Dan and uh, Gary for reaching out to me to grab grab those bees. I think uh, Gary would have tried to get a hold of himself had he not been out of town. So he reached out to me. So I appreciate that. Uh, but till next time. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let's see, we I got into them yesterday, got all the comb that I could salvage, and uh, let them acclimate to this swarm box here. I've got brood comb in there, so this is the tree that I cut them out of and they all look like they've uh, made their new home in the box not all of them inside it's about 6 30 in the evening I was hoping to catch most of them inside but uh, it's a little too warm for that so I'm going ahead and close that little dial up to where they can't get out there'll probably be some still lingering on the outside of the box but they'll be okay so we're going to take them Back to my house, let them orient to that location, and I'll check it inside in a few days, see if maybe there's an, uh, a queen or if they're making a new queen. So, till next video.